Grade 4 Math, number 108. This is a review of third grade measurement terms before we go on to the fourth grade measurement. I want to make sure that the kids are caught up and aren't going to lag behind. If any of the kids have trouble with any of this, they should go back to the third grade sections for time and length and distance or mass and uh, study it again to remember it, otherwise they'll get lost, okay? So for time, a.m. is the time after midnight through breakfast to lunchtime at noon. It's considered the daytime. And then p.m. is the time after 12 noon, it's after lunchtime, through dinner to midnight, okay? It's when the kids go to bed, all right? This is the clock, all right? Elapsed time means the time that passes from the start of an activity activity to the end of an activity. So if something started at 4 p.m. and 15 minutes went by, where would the hand of the clock go? See? The hand of the clock would move from here to here, and this would be the elapsed time. So the kids should understand this already. A minute is a unit used to measure short amounts of time there's 60 minutes in an hour, and each little notch in here is a minute, okay? An hour is a unit used to measure time. One hour is 60 minutes. The hour hand will move from the 5 to the 6, that's one hour. From the 6 to the 7 is another hour, like that. And then the minute hand will go around one full time each hour. Review on centimeters. They're a metric unit of length or distance. There's 100 centimeters to each meter. One centimeter is about two-fifths of an inch. So it's almost a half of an inch. A meter is a metric unit for measuring length or distance. And again, one meter is 100 centimeters. One meter is about 40 inches, okay? A gram is used to measure mass. A thousand grams is one kilogram. There's about 340 grams to one cup or 12 ounces. In a kilogram, that's a metric unit for measuring mass also, one kilogram is 1,000 grams, and one kilogram of flour is about eight cups of flour, okay? An inch is a unit for measuring length or distance. One inch is one twelfth of a foot. There's 12 inches in one foot, okay? Which is... A foot is another unit for measuring length or distance, and like I said, one foot is 12 inches. A yard is a unit for measuring length also, or distance, and one yard is three feet. So, for telling time, you want to make sure that uh, you understand that when the little hand is on the 2 and the big hand is on the 12, that's 2 o'clock. If the hand is in between two numbers, and the big hand is on the 6, then that means it is 4.30 or 5.30 or 6.30, whatever the hour hand is in between, it is the one back. If it's in between the 5 and 6, then it's the 5. If it's in between the 8 and 9, then it's the 8. It always goes back to the one behind it. This time would be 3.05 because the hour hand is on the 3 and the minute hand is pointing to the 1 and there's 5 minutes here. So that would be 3.05. This would be 10 after 9, because that's 5 minutes, 10 minutes after 9 o'clock. And with both hands pointed to the 6, would be 6.30. Okay? So here you go. If your nose was 12 inches long, it would be a foot. So that's how you remember how long a foot and an inch is. If your nose was 12 inches long, it would be a foot. So those are the review words, terms for third grade measurements. And we're going to start talking about measurements. So stay with me, and I'll see you there. Bye.